Spreader allows you to expand the stereo width of any source. And that is one of the most fantastic things, including mono, of course. So it's an alternative to spacer and it works exceptionally well with mono inputs. Guys, try it out for yourselves. Do get some headphones because we're about to dive in. Now, a video on the spacer plugin and explaining phasing can be linked or will be linked at the end of this video. So you guys can check that out. But for now, let's discuss what makes Spreader so good for widening and enhancing mono sources. So with this sample, let's dive in. All right, so let's start off from the top. Spreader is capable of synthesizing a stereo field. Most importantly though, the stereo effect it creates is compatible with mono playback as well as stereo, of course. So without artifacts, that is very important, okay? We always talk about referencing your mixes in mono as well as stereo. So please do that. And you'll know, guys, when you try Spacer and some other plugins or some, some other widening software or plugins that allow you to create some synthetic, let's say, um, augmented or exaggerated stereo, it might actually create artifacts in in mono so do check that for yourself guys now it's very important again for the accuracy of playback because you want to make sure that your mixes are audible in every sound system let's dive in a little bit deeper so one more quick thing to note is to ensure consistent low end essentially across different sound systems be sure to work with the low bypass slider let's do that we'll get to it on this particular sound here as you see guys i have an fx analyzer as well as the spreader plugin right here on this bass sound okay that's the bass sound let me just solo that a bit of a droning sound as you see it is fairly wide now let's dive into it and essentially look at all of these parameters okay so again we're going to get into this low bypass in a moment let's look at the other parameters quickly first so let's look at the width so width of course zero is the default setting right meaning no change to the sound was essentially made now if you move this width slider up you are going to expand the stereo width and of course if you move it down you're going to narrow the stereo width now let's get to the low bypass now this slider here let's put this up a bit let's put it up to one ish and let's look at the low bypass we'll put it down to essentially the lowest uh, 10 hertz okay what is the point of this low bypass? Essentially, it allows for frequencies to be bypassed from this stereo effect. So if we don't want to widen our bass, which is typically recommended in the sense that you don't want to widen your bass too much, at least the low end of your bass, maybe the 100 hertz and below, you want that to be primarily mono so that it will actually represent itself with the punchiness and the tightness in the bass frequency in, in across all sound systems essentially okay so this is super important again when you're working with bass focused sounds you want to make sure that you're bypassing enough of that low end so it can still punch through right down the middle of the mix okay so as you see i'm going to bypass around 150 hertz just for this per particular demo because as you see i'm going to look look at our analyzer we can see it roughly around the 150 mark Let's freeze it there. Roughly around here, let's say, is where it starts to kind of really taper off. There's a bit of a bump here, but we're gonna taper off around, let's say, even 200, fine, just for now. So I don't want to essentially widen anything that's below, in this case, 182, all right? Cool, and it's just a sample, guys. You can, of course, explore as you should right now let's go into the balance and look at the stereo widener but let's look at the spreader let's look at it on the master track for now okay so what we're looking at here is you know essentially uh the sound flower we can call it that it's some visualizers called the vector scope we're looking at how wide the sound is okay so of course the wider the display the more stereo signal is present in your mix simple now of course the dot at the top is the vector scope um, balance indicator okay and it shows you essentially the power the magnitude and how it's of your sound and how it's distributed from the left speaker to the right channel right and essentially panning okay now the vector scope area you can notice that there's a quote unquote let's say the safety lines for left and right right 
but that's of course to help you to guide you to get a visual a visual cue of what is essentially a fairly safe range for your panning but it's up to you guys right use your ears but of course use this vector scope and of course this let's call it the flower this stereo image uh, representative representation here let's look at that and you can notice that it's spreading out now if it's all the way down narrow let's go back to this sound and let's bring the width all the way back down you'll notice that it's just one solid um pedal if i could say that represents sound that is strictly coming straight down the middle and it's mono okay so of course we want our sounds to be spread out depending on what they are and positioned well now you know so for stereo signals i see ideally the goal is normally to keep the flower ish area within the central vector right which helps to you know just kind of keep things comfortable for the listener right but guys again it's up to you and how you mix okay so this is pretty simple guys that's about it right simple and useful is what i would call this spreader tool absolutely fantastic for mono sounds and i want to know what you guys you know from for, for narrowing you know some sound sources uh enhancing them making them wider uh more spacious more atmospheric as well however you wish to, to play it i love the fact guys can you hear that how it gets wider let me keep it as wide as like that and let's go to this to the master listen to this do you notice the width guys and i'm going to adjust this low bypass to show you and let you hear as well right so as you hear a lot of the kick drum is now panned now listen the drums are very wide right i'm going to maximize the width the drums are super wide because i'm not bypassing any of the low end but let me bypass some to tighten up the drums and you'll notice the drums will start to come more down the middle there we go right now i wouldn't use this spreader like that but this is just for demonstration purposes to let you guys hear the point right so what i want you guys to do is try spreader on vocals synths guitars bass and, and more right join the community and share your works guys let's win together as usual watch this video on the spacer plugin how will you use spreader and spacer in your mixes what differences do you find for what you're looking for how does it affect you how does it benefit you let us know in the comments of course guys winning with blends again until next time Take it easy.